It's getting down to the wire in the Big Brother house with only two weeks left in the game. But still, people are being timid and playing scared, even with only five people left in the house. There's a lot to talk about today, y'all, including the new HOH's plans for the week. But first, if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below just so you can stay tuned as I will be here doing these recaps for the rest of the season. Now, let's get started. So, as we saw in the last episode, Blue was just evicted unanimously. This was to absolutely no one's surprise. She had been the plan all week, so her eviction was pretty underwhelming. But the double eviction right after at least left a little mystery in the air. The house guests then went off to compete in the next HOH, where we saw Bowie win and send America out the door right after. Now, everyone knew that the double eviction was coming up and pretty much everyone knew that America was up next on the shopping block. So when Bowie won that HOH, it was instantly a wrap for America's game. Now there are only five players left standing and as the numbers dwindle down, the eligible winners start to look more and more obvious, especially since the competition winners have been so easy to predict this season. The feeds remained off for a while while the house guests competed in the next HOH comp, which apparently was another one of those knockout elimination style comps. When the feeds came back on, we see that Matt has won his first HOH of the season. Now, Matt winning is somewhat of an interesting outcome because there's really two routes he can take here. He could stay loyal with his trio of Jag and Bowie, or he could finally grow a pair and take that shot at Jag that he's always been thinking about. After all, Jag is the one to beat right now. Matt first meets up with Jag and Bowie who really want him to take the shot at Felicia this week. It isn't much of a move, but it does allow Matt to keep his hands relatively clean, so he's down to do it. He doesn't want to put Suri up on the block next to her, but he also doesn't have that many options. No matter what, he has to piss somebody off and nominate one of his allies this week, so Jag and Bowie are going to try to coach him on what to say. That's going to be a word. Yeah. Just, Just say because, I mean, I did something this week. He did the week before she... Hasn't even been up. So. Yeah, just say like she did a solid by not putting us up and whatever. Yeah. So yeah. You need to like just return that because we'll take I think that's pretty nice. cool. We're probably shut to go, so yeah. You know, yeah. Just yeah. Say that. Later on, Matt is gonna have a one on one with Jag where again, Jag is gonna try to convince him to put Suri and Felicia on the block. They plan to tell Felicia that Bowie is the target to keep her calm. And they wanna tell Suri that Felicia is the target, which is the truth. Well, what the hell? I know I can tell Suri, you're good, don't worry. You gotta go up with the pun. I said, you know I'm not putting Jag up, like, no brainer. Bowie, Bowie didn't put me up when she was HOHs. Yeah. And she could have, she could have easily put me and Jag up. I can't put Bowie up. So I, like, gonna I don't say, want her to. What if Felicia wins? H O H. I mean, Vito. You're gonna say Bowie goes up and Bowie goes home? I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Now, this scenario does make sense if Matt really wants to stick with that trio until the bitter end. But Matt has also strongly hinted in the past that he actually wants Suri sitting next to him in the final two. He has also hinted that he would maybe take that shot at Jag one day and this would be his golden opportunity. See, Matt should tread carefully here because he's not the only one thinking outside the box. Jag is now finally thinking about his jury management too. And he knows that Matt and Suri are in the best positions to win over the jury right now. I'm just thinking about what's our best route to make it. It's reasonable. It's This tells me that Jag is maybe willing to target Matt next 
and he could start by cutting Sari right here. Right now, Matt is really his only competition, so weakening Matt by taking out Sari would be a pretty good move for Jack's game. And that's exactly why I kinda need Matt to buck up and take that shot at Jack now. This is Matt's best chance of making that game-winning move and evicting Jack, and everybody knows it. See, Sari and Felicia have the right idea here. If both Felicia and Bowie go up on the block together initially, then the veto would probably get used no matter who wins it, which would then leave room for Jack to go up on the block. It's the perfect play because it also allows Matt to save face with Jack just in case Jack wins that veto. But Matt is just too scared of the retaliation. Matt goes to have his one-on-one -on -one with Sari, who obviously isn't happy about being a pawn. She's trying to fight back and get Bowie on the block, but it's just not gonna work. Nothing's gonna happen to Bowie Jane because we control the votes. Right. It's me and Jag. Even if me and Jag decided to split a vote, which would never happen, Guess who decides to vote? You do. So she's safe no, 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 all no. the way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't she be a team player in our four? Right, right. It kind of makes it look like, you know, you right. don't care about me. Or you just yeah. care about protecting Bowie Dane. This did shock me a little bit because I wasn't really expecting Matt to be this pro Bowie at first. But later on in the day, when Matt meets with Sari again, he does hint that he would maybe be willing to make a big move this week. Best for my game, I think, Felicia gone. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, I love Jag, of course, but mm -hmm. I have to see if this is the week. There's only, there's no other week left. There's next week, I know, I know. <laughs> but like, it depends with the veto. You know what I mean? Admittedly, it's kind of hard to tell if Matt really would take that shot at Jag or if he's just lying to appease Sari here. He's been swearing his loyalty to Jag all week, but history has shown us that Matt is willing and able to lie straight to your face if he has to. It would take some convincing, but I do believe that there is a chance that Matt does target Jag this week, depending on what happens with the veto. So say you win the veto. I win veto? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's gonna suck, but I'm gonna have to just deal three days with that. Mm-hmm. Use it on him and he goes. On Friday, the house guests all went off to the nomination ceremony. And when the feeds returned, we saw that Felicia and Sari were indeed on the block together. Right now, I'd still say it's most likely that Felicia leave this week, but if the right person wins that veto, who knows what could happen. Of course, I wanna know what do you all think of Matt's HOH plans? Do you think targeting Felicia is the right move or would you rather it be Jag instead? Let me know in the comments below. Even though things are looking the best for Matt and Jag right now, I'm still gonna keep a little bit of hope alive for Sari. Those are really the only three eligible winners at this point to me. Of course, I'll be back to update you all if anything else big changes, but until next time, bye.